Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we did the A-side for Fossil Falls. We couldn't quite get every moon, there are two that we'll have to come back for, and there's one that I believe is impossible, which is the one inside that 2D section over there. Uh, every other moon we got fine, so now we're going to go break into the moon rock and activate the other moons in this area and see how many of those are possible. I think it's all of them, it might not be. So we're going to find out. Uh, if you watched the previous video, you'll know that that scarecrow is the bane of my existence. <laughs> this moon rock's much less of a problem because it's not on a tiny, tiny platform in the middle of the fog. Uh, we will skip the cutscene this time. So yeah, that releases a whole bunch of extra moons. Uh, this time there are two challenge areas, which is what I expected for the first one. I'm not sure why they're not both like that. Um, and a whole bunch of other moons as well. So we're going to head over this way. There's a moon just down there hanging out. There's a moon down there hanging out. I believe we have to break one of something over here in order to get a moon. But is that right? Hang on. Maybe not. Uh, there is a moon over here. You can see how the tip of this fossil here is sparkling now. Yeah, so what we got to do is just get Cappy onto it. Cappy! And that gets the moon. Which I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, we'll head back up there, but on the way we might grab a few more things if we can. Oh my goodness, that was terrible. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, we'll have to do it again, but we will go do this first. Uh, here's one of the challenge rooms that was unlocked by hitting the moon rock. Oh. Okay, this will be a thing. Uh, this is the challenge room based around swinging platforms and these little hat ledge thingies. Um, so it's some precision platforming to do while crouching. Uh, we do have Cappy, which makes it a bit easier than some of the game's precision platforming challenges, but... Still, it's not it's not trivial. It's going to be a bit tricky. Uh, we'll take out these guys just to make it a little easier to get around. There we go. Uh, I thought Cappy would actually keep going and hit some more platforms, but she doesn't do that. Okay, there are two moons to be had in here. We'll see if we can get both of them. I think we probably can. Um, again, this isn't like a 2D section or anything, so it won't be, it probably won't be impossible to do any of the moons, but it might just be hard. Also, I might do that, because when I shake the controller to make Cappy home in on things, that also activates rolling. <laughs> okay, that part's pretty easy, actually. You don't need to hit the hat to get through. Uh, here, you can probably just back up the second hat and save a bunch of time. There we go. I'm not really doing a speedrun or anything, but you know, if we were doing a speedrun of this particular area, that's how I would do it, to save some time. Could we also triple jump and skip all of the platforms, but... Uh, okay. I'm gonna take this part slowly, just for safety. But yeah, if we do a homing cap throw here, that happens, which is very helpful. Uh, you can do a down with cap throw with the Procom, but only by doing a ground pound and then throwing Cappy. Which means you can't do it in midair, which means it doesn't really work so well for our purposes here. Since, for example, that happens. <laughs> Fossil phones beside, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can get up there without using any of the platforms. Let me just give it a couple tries just to see. Yeah, easy peasy. Hmm, the motion control with the Procon is a little weird. I'm trying to do homing, like, spinning cap throws like that, but I keep getting up throws instead, which are much less useful. Ah! Yeah, I was, I was trying to throw Cappy downwards, but instead I just rolled. <laughs> okay, 
like I said, that doesn't even need a cap bounce, it just have to long jump. Yeah, you can bonk against these cloud platforms, which is kind of embarrassing. There we go. Okay, there we go. Alright, uh, this part... Very doable. Except I keep doing that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think I need to do more spinning cap throws, basically. But that's also hard to do. Um, because it's the same controls that you use to roll off the edge. So yeah, if, can, if you can do a spinning cap throw there, it's really easy, but if you can't, it's kind of it's really tough. Um, Thankfully, that one's pretty easy because you can do that. Oh, oh god! I saw Mario was like getting stuck on the platform. I was really scared. Oh goodness! Okay, that one. Maybe if I just go to the blocks rather than bothering with the platform, I think that'll be easier. Yeah, that one is super duper easy to skip. <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, then you just here, he's got to do the simple cat bounce. Ball kick, cat bounce. There we go. Well, I'm, I'm doing basically the same gesture every time, but it's not always doing the same move because motion controls are annoying. The other way to do mo to do a spinning cap throw is to twirl the, the um, analog all the way around, but I think you have to be on the ground to do that. And obviously that's a bit of a problem for me. Damn it. So yeah, as usual, the main levels are a lot easier than the precision platforming sub-areas because of the way the controls in this game work. And especially how rolling works. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um. So yeah, you want to just interrupt, land on the platform. You know, flip like that. Bounce off Cappy. Throw her again. There we go. Yeah, I'm flicking the controller sideways, which is how you do a spinning cap throw, but it's still doing other kinds of cap throws instead. <sighs> I can't I can't get it. I can't get a spinning cap throw. I don't know, maybe Procon is just bad for this kind of thing. Oh my goodness. Anyway, this first part is super simple. Just gotta do that. Easy. There we go, that's it. Yeah, because the spinning cap throw is really effective against these guys. But it's really hard to perform with this, these controllers, so... Ah, just mash every button. <laughs> Oh gosh, there are two moons in here, by the way, and we haven't gotten near either of them, so... We may have some problems. Oh, okay. if I can jump all the way over to those blocks rather than bothering with all this. Let's find out. Uh, yes, but if Cappy hits the blocks, I'm doomed. Okay, so that's doable. I just need to not go quite as far. Alright. Alright. 
Come over this way, my pretties. Yeah, that's way easier, honestly. Uh, okay. I think I can probably just do something like this. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so this time again, I think I'm going to aim for the blocks rather than worrying about the cap platforms. Oh, okay. That works too. Uh, so here, there's a moon over there. Um, I think I can actually hit these platforms without too much trouble because of the way they're positioned. Yeah. Ba -da -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba. Yeah! Okay, so that's one moon. Out of two. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't actually cash in the moons from before because we didn't need to leave Cascade, so... Yeah, I've only got one moon so far. The previous 20 moons are from the other video. It's taken me 11 minutes to get one moon. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, here... Uh, you're probably supposed to use these platforms to do it, but... Chances are easier not to. Oh! Oh! Okay! Dive! Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> that was really scary! Alrighty, uh... Let's go right to the edge, like this, just so we don't have to go quite as far. And then, backflip! Alright! Yes! Yeah! Yeah, I pretty much ignored the mysterious clouds and did it without them, it was easier. <laughs> Oh my goodness. That was quite a moon. It's a, t quite a pair of moons. Okay, there's actually a moon up there, but so let's go get that one. It's got some more blocks involved, but there's no threat of death if you mess it up, so it's less scary. Also, they're at a much better height than what we're doing. Yeah! That one's super easy. There we go. Oh, uh, hello. Didn't, didn't see you there door that I somehow bonked against even though you're open. <laughs> this game is so full of bonking that I do it against open spaces as well as ledges and stuff. Where else is there a moon that I need to get? I think I need to break one of these... Uh, I think I need to get the dino and break some of these pillars, the ones that are like holding up power lines and stuff. I guess they'd be called power poles. Um, I think if you break them with the dino, you get some stuff. I think. I'm kind of just playing off from memory here, having played the game twice. Okay, so there's something there. I think that might be a moon. I think there's another one down here somewhere. Uh, not here. Let's keep going. So yeah, the dino smashes pretty much everything just by walking into it, so... Oops. It's pretty cool that way. Accidentally uncaptured again. I'm having a bit of trouble with that. I'm not really sure what's causing it. It's just happening. Uh, I think that'll mean I have some more time, though, because you do have a time limit for this particular capture. Okay, yeah. Um, when you break that power line, there's a moon underneath as well. Okay. I think it's a moon. There we go. Okay, so yeah, there's a moon there, which we'll be taking. Yeah! So that's four. Uh, and then we're going to hit this power line here. Just to take ourselves all the way back up to the top. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're going to try to get the one in this fossil again, because we tried before and it didn't quite work as intended. Okay, that's still not quite right. The thing is, that's a really s tricky sloped surface, and Mario rolling on it means we're going to fall, basically. <laughs> um, and throwing Cappy also is how you roll, so yeah. We got some trickiness. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have the moon out, so all we can do is just go back up there again and we can get it. Uh, I think over here is a moon. Oops. Oops, I didn't actually mean to capture the T-Rex. So let's just uh, let's just hop out, 
and just that over here. Where I actually wanted to be, which is this little hot spot in the ground. Yep, that's another moon. Yeah! Uh, the T-Rex should respawn shortly. We might actually need to actually leave for that to happen, though. Uh, okay, let's head back over to that moon we were trying to get. We should be able to get it now. The Chain Chomps respawn to basically anything you can capture in this game will respawn, so that you can't accidentally get rid of a thing you need. Um, although, leaving the area also resets pretty much everything, so it's interesting that they put both of those features in, when you could just leave the area and reset everything and then be able to capture what you need to capture. I don't know. Seems a bit redundant. Hi Chain Chomps, it's me, your friend Mario. I'm the one who's been possessing your souls with the help of my hat cutie friend. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Come on. Come on. No! <laughs> I'm having some trouble with that particular moon. Um, You can't actually walk back up there. Because if you use a checkpoint warp, it'll reset the area and the moon won't be there because we'll have to throw Cappy at it, at it again, so... Uh, I'm just gonna head back to the power line and try again. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, that particular moon, because of the sloped surface it's on, and the very small sloped surface it's on, it is quite hard to reach, actually. More so than you'd expect. Considering slopes don't normally affect us too badly in this game, compared to some other Mario's I could mention. 3D World. Um, let's waddle our way down there, nice and slow. There we go. Yeah! Alright, so there's another moon over there, so let's go get that. Uh, there'll be another race to do. I think we can probably do it fast enough. Uh, I think we got it. We did it. We did it fast enough the previous time. It's just you go do it again, so we should be. We should be fine. Yeah. Okay, how are we doing? That's seven. Yeah, we're making good progress. Uh, and a bunch of chain chomps, and also this spiky guy. I don't remember their name. They're in this game. Okay, that moon is a little bit of a hassle to reach with our current restrictions. Um, but it's doable, which is going to be really annoying. As you can see. Uh, this is normally fairly easy, but yeah. Uh, yeah, we've got to get over there somehow before the platforms vanish, and I don't know of any other way to get over there. There's no, like, glide-on in this kingdom we could use. Uh, well, let's give it another shot. <sighs> it is easier to throw the, your hat forward if you're rolling, uh, because a long jump doesn't give you as much height as a backflip. But it also, because it interrupts the roll, it means you can't just keep doing it. Uh, this one, there isn't much to do besides take the platforms, unlike some of the others, which makes it harder. Um, let me see, maybe if I gain some height? Mm, no, a, a long jump would not go that far. Even like a really good one, like a cappy roll jump or something. Oh my goodness, this is really scary. No! Ah! <laughs> I tried to save myself, but to no avail. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, these, these, these little hat platforms are the bane of my existence this episode. In case you were wondering, that's what it is this time. Let's head down this hole for now. Have a look at what this challenge is. So yeah, there's two of these in this kingdom. And I believe some of them even have three. Oh, this thing, All right. Okay, so basically the idea here is just to get through these very windy areas. Um, I don't think it'll be too much of a hassle. Now I've said that it will be, of course, because Let's Play is cursed, but...
We have Cappy. Uh, these platforms, honestly, there's plenty of room, so I don't think we'll have too much trouble. We'll see how we go. Um, part of the gimmick here is if you throw Cappy into the wind, she will get blown that way and can pull that switch. Um, you see a bit of this later on with the Typhoos as well, but besides that, I don't think the game does much with it, which is interesting because it's a fun gimmick. Uh, here, you've got to throw Cappy at the hat throwers at the right timing so that she gets launched all the way over there, basically. Into that. That, thing, that thing's called a hat launcher, I'm pretty sure. The little thing with the, with the little circles on it there. Uh, this is tricky, as you may have surmised from the way I'm having trouble with it. There we go. And she just pulls that switch. That gives us a moon. So yeah, that that's pretty easy if you can throw moon, throw Cappy normally. If you have to crouch and throw in midair, it's a bit harder. Uh, yeah, good point. Uh, let me see here. It might be easier if I head sort of that direction. Try for the bridge to stop gusting. Okay. Uh, then over here, there's a bit more of a, like a platforming challenge rather than a hat throwing timing challenge. But honestly, it's not that challenging, so I think we'll be all right. Basically, you just have to not be in the wrong spot when it moves, or you get shoved off. But it's very slow, so waddling is enough to get you between them in time. Without too much of a hassle, as you can see. There we go. Easy peasy. Yeah, much easier than the other one. That took me like three minutes, maybe? Not long compared to the other one, which was very hard. <laughs> Alright then, so that's that done. Uh, where now? Oh yeah, uh, there's a boob just here in the water. Um, obviously, crouching has no effect in water, so this is pretty easy to do, just like normal. There we go. Yeah! That's 10 moons, so we're making good progress. Uh, we can do another free running. Uh, there's something over here by Luigi, apparently. Let's have a look. Oh, there's a bunny! That's right, I forgot there was a bunny here. Okay, that was easier than I expected. This bunny is quite tricky sometimes, but if you do it straight away like that, you're fine. <laughs> so that's 11 moons. Uh, how are we doing? Uh, there's two more over there. There's that one way out there, which we're going to find quite at the challenge. Where the other two up here are. Uh, let's hit the zapper over there and see if we can figure out where we're looking. <laughs> I'm a bit sleepy. <laughs> okay, um, I think, I think the moons are below us, maybe. Hang on. Actually, I think the moon might be in this, this rock now. Maybe you can now break it, but you couldn't before? I'm not sure. I remember breaking something over here and getting a moon. Okay, yeah, it's that one, but you can only do it once the moon's in there. That's kind of weird. Yeah! Uh, let's see, there's one more, basically where we are now. I think it's... Oh no, I know where it is. See that musical note? Yeah, it's in the 2D section, so we can't get it. That's two moons that are completely impossible because we can't enter that section. Oh, damn. Okay, we can still get, get this one, it's just very hard. So let's give it another shot. Oh god! Oh. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, this is a very easy moon, but yeah, we're gonna have some trouble. No! <laughs> oh god. Um, but yeah, once we can get this, we will have all the moons we can get right now. 
Uh, we have, let's see, 34, so there's six more. There's two inside the wall that we can't get. There's two from the secret passage. Oh no, there's also the race. Let's do the race, since it's just over here. What about that? Okay, so yeah, it's the same race as last time. It's just that the time you have to beat is harder because of the new gold cooper. Uh, I think I can still do it without too much trouble. But we'll see how we go. Basically, I don't want to waddle very much because that slows you down because it's just waddling. We'll see how we do. Okay, so up there we've got a sparkly, sparkly, sparkly. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, as you can see, the Gold Cooper is quite good at the game, so... Not quite good enough to figure out that this is the fastest route, though. Which is handy, because it is the fastest route, I'm pretty sure. Look how close that was, god. Just made it in time. Okay. Cooper free running is done. There we go. Yeah, give me that power moon. Okay. So now the only moon left that we can possibly do right now is that one up there. Uh, then there's two more moons that we can get by doing some other stuff elsewhere. And there's two moons that we can't ever get. And that's Fossil Falls for you. So let's go back up and have another shot at that moon. Uh, is there a checkpoint somewhere near it? Uh, that one's sort of close. I think that one's closer. Let's whoop to that one. Um, when you respawn, it will be at the last checkpoint that you went to, so... Unless you did something else more recently than going to a checkpoint, of course. Like, come out of a sub-area or something. But, okay, yeah, this is a good spot to start from. Okay, so this is really scary, um, because we can't activate these platforms very well while we're platforming around. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, so it's really precise platforming over platforms that you have to hit with your hat, which you can only throw when you're in mid-air, which means you have to time the throw very, very carefully in order to actually hit the platforms, and they're timed as well, so they will go away after a few seconds if we don't speed up and get to the next one as fast as possible. Oh my god, this is... this is a challenge. <laughs> also, this game is gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Look at, look at, this, look at this game. I love Mario Odyssey. Oh also, look at look at Veach and Diara being cute girlfriends. Look at them. Oh my gosh, I shifted so much. They're so freaking cute. Oh my goodness. Okay. 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 There we go, that's what you want. Oh, okay, you can land on a platform as you throw your hat at it. Um, it's just really, really scary and precise. <laughs> so, um... I'm convinced this is possible, it's just really, really hard. Kind of like that timer challenge from the previous video. Uh, only here the punishment is death rather than just not getting the moon. So, it's a little bit scarier. Actually, you know what? That's the easiest way to do it. Just to do this. That's way easier. Actually, yeah, this is easy and I figured out I can do it this way. Wow, <laughs> okay. Yeah, all you gotta do is just activate the platforms as you jump toward them. Like that. Da 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 da! Yeah! Alright, so...
We have 36 out of 40 moons. Two of those we will be getting later, and two of them are in that 2D section and therefore inaccessible. I think that's pretty good. Um, I think we did a pretty good job of Fossil Falls all up. So let's head on to Tostarina. As you might remember, in Tostarina we didn't do the story at all, so... We may be a bit stuck. Um, moon rocks do not activate until you have completed that area's story moons, so we can't get any of the moon rock moons unless we can do the story. And that's a lot of moons. We also can't get the peach moon unless we've done the story for similar reasons. And there's various other moons in Tosca Arena that are only accessible once you've done the story, just like here where you have to do the story and then it unlocks some stuff. So. We'll see what we can do, but we may not be able to get all the moons in Tost Arena. Or we might be able... No, but we won't... We, no, we won't be able to get all the moons in Tost Arena because I know at least one of them is in the 2D section we can't enter. Just like in um, Fossil Falls, same problem. But we should be able to do most of the others without too much trouble. Uh, we're not going to do that right now. We'll be doing that in the next video, just as we did previously where we pushed it off for a video. Okay, so yeah, that's the first story room. We never got that, which is why it's still there. Um, next time we'll be seeing how that goes. For now, thanks for watching. <laughs> and thanks for flying Tostarina. I don't know why I said that. Um, anyway, Fossil Falls is done. Uh, oh, we got the sticker too. Let's have a quick look. See, so Fossil Falls sticker is just there underneath the Bonneton one. They're not really arranged in terms of the story order or anything, I think. They're just all over the place. Also, we got the souvenirs. We've got... Uh, there we are. We've got this dinosaur up here. Which you can bap with Cappy if you want. And then we've got this trophy over here. And that's about it. So yeah, this room's going to keep filling up with souvenirs as we go through the different kingdoms. So I'll keep peeking in here every couple of videos, just so we see how things are looking. Um, but anyway, that's Fossil Falls. At least what we can do with Fossil Falls for the time being. And now, this is Tost Arena, and we'll be doing that next time. Thanks for watching, and also being a cutie, because I'm sure you're a cutie if you're watching this video. That's just how it works. That's just the rules. <laughs> bye bye, cutie.